everyone, K. Estefano. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet this crop top. The reason behind making this crop top is my recent video tutorial upload, which is also a crop top using the Alphine stitch. As if this moment I am filming this, that video already gained 16,000 views, so it made me think of making another one but with the different stitches, and I chose this stitch called the Celtic Whip. Stitch. For this tutorial, you can use any fingering weight yarn, but I will be using this four ply in the field yarn, which is widely available in my country, Philippines. I bought this one from Rosal's Crochet and Accessories. I will, I will put the shop link in the description box below, and also we will be using three millimeter hook, pair of scissors, weaving needle, measuring tape, and stitch markers. To start, make a slip knot. Chain 10. Additional chain 1, it will serve as our turning point. Then make single crochets and the second chain from hook across. For my size, I made the total rows of 128 and after that, slip stitch both ends.
after slip stitching, this round should be able to slip through your shoulders. If it doesn't fit, make additional rows before slip stitching. If it fits, next step is to make single crochets in each row. Also, make sure the total of your single crochets should have the same total count with your rows, which is multiple of 4 because we will be needing a number multiple of 4 for the Celtic E stitch. After making one round of single crochets, slip stitch and make another round of double crochets starting with chain 3. After one round of double crochets, slip stitch on the third chain from our first three chains and start the next row with chain three and we'll now make the Celtic weave stitch using the treble crochets. To start, skip two stitches and make front post treble crochet on the next two stitches. Then next, make front post treble crochet on the two skipped stitches. If it looks like this, you're doing it right. We continue making the same steps, skip 2 stitches, make 2 front post treble crochet in the next 2 stitches, and again make 2 front post treble crochet back on the skipped stitches. We'll do it again one more time, skip 2 stitches, make 2 front post treble crochet on the next 2 stitches. And again make front post treble crochet each on the 2 skipped stitches. Repeat the same process around row 3. The stitches is not that visible at this time but it will as we go through. I'm already here at the last 4 treble crochet stitches and to finish row 3, we will just slip stitch on the 3rd chain from our first 3 chains. For row 4, we will start with chain 3. Next is to make front post treble crochet in the last 2 treble crochets from our previous row. Then from the first 3 chains, skip the 4 stitches and make front post treble crochet in the next 2 stitches here if you can see. Then 
then we will make front post treble crochet back to the last two skip stitches and we will do it from behind behind the last two treble crochets you can pull up a bit this post before making the front post treble crochet to make it easier this stitch is a bit difficult but you'll get the hang of it as we go through next step is to skip only two stitches and make front post treble crochet in the next two stitches here at the back and again from behind make two front post treble crochet back to the two skip stitches As you can see, the beauty of the stitches is now more visible and I'm sure you will love it when you finish this top. And again, we will repeat the same process across for round 4. Skip 2 stitches, make front post treble crochet on the next 2 and make front post treble crochet back to the 2 skip stitches from behind. Sorry, the video clip for the steps how to finish row 4 wasn't recorded but I don't want to remake the whole thing so I made this little sample. So this is for row 4, this is the first our first 3 chains, this is the first 2 treble crochets and remember the first 4 skip stitches. To finish row 4, you will just make 2 front post treble crochet on the first Two skip stitches for row 4 and then finish it off by slip stitching on the third chain from our first three chains. For the next rows, just repeat alternating round 3 and round 4 until you're satisfied with the length of the coverage from waist up to your chest. After your alternating round 3 and round 4, we will now make one round of double crochets in each of the treble crochet to leave the edge nice and neat. After one round of double crochets in each stitches, finish the row by slip stitching 
and for the next row start with chain one and make single crochets in each of the stitches that is one round of single crochet After one round of single crochets, finish the row by slip stitching and make additional 3 more rows of single crochets back loop only. the yarn, insert your hook below the stitch marker, yarn over, pull through, and then insert again your hook on the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then from there, make chains. After making the straps, that's it. We've finished making this beautiful crop top. Hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And also please click that bell button so you'll get notified on my future uploads. Thank you. Please do also check out my YouTube crocheter friends. Their channel are listed in the featured channel on this channel.